Hey guys, we've all seen the C8 Corvette, and it looks great if you like the exotic car look, but still looks like a Ferrari replica. It's like GM thought, well hey, let's have a Corvette and McLaren, but wait, let's throw a uh, Ferrari in there, and then we'll throw a little Camaro for the taillights, and out pops a Corvette C8. Now, is that good or is that bad? It seems to me like there's identity crisis. I mean, can GM, are they going to make a... a Lavette, which is basically like a Lamborghini look and sell that. I mean, now you're getting to a territory where you see one and you don't know if it's a exotic, a Ferrari, or if it's a Corvette, but we're still dealing with a Corvette and mass produced. So it's not going to have any value, but purely if you just buy it for the performance, that's fine. But the previous generation vets, they did 0 to 60 under 3 seconds. They had great. They could kill exotics. I mean, so basically GM just made it to look like a Ferrari, which I don't know. I mean, maybe they're trying to get exotic people, but it's kind of like having a uh, big engine and a crappy car. And then, I mean, it's still a crappy car. But I'm not saying the Corvette's crappy. I mean... I'm going to wait a couple of years till it value goes down to about 40000 buy one because it looks like it's a decent car and you don't have to deal with all the maintenance costs and everything, but still, it looks like a Ferrari replica. I mean, come on. How can you not say it doesn't? But guys, I mean, it's it looks like it would be a good car, but, uh, you know, for value, exotics are not going to fall down in value. They're not going to decline in value. Look at uh, a real world example of diamonds. Okay, you can have a diamond ring and pay $10,000 for it, or you can get a cubic conian ring for $200. They still look the same. They still do the same thing. Performance wise, yeah, it's the same thing. But why do people buy a $10,000 diamond when you can buy a $250 diamond? It's because you want the status, you want their rarity. And the Corvettes don't have their rarity. There's going to be hundreds of thousands. I mean, I went to my local dealership and they already had like 25 pre-orders, deposits on these. And that's just one dealership. That's just crazy. There's going to be tons of them. So, I mean, buy it if you like the vets and you like the performance and stuff, but still a vet. Now, I'm going to do a video later on and uh, it's going to... Um, show the difference of it, but if you ever seen one, watch YouTube. You you see it, and it has that sound, and you're look, thinking about, hey, this is gonna be exotic sound, but really it comes out as like American Muscle sound in car. It doesn't have that that European revving, that European sound. Now you, they can probably get exhaust systems to change that and stuff, but still, it's deceiving. It's like uh, you have a good looking woman and uh, you go up to her and say hi and she comes back with hi my name is Jessica and it's like geez it, that voice does not go with that look and that's the way this Corvette is you think it's gonna have that exotic high-pitched beautiful sounding exhaust and it has basic Camaro Zox exhaust so I mean that's one thing it, it seems like it's identity crisis. GM doesn't know what they want to do with it. I mean, maybe they should do a Lavette and have a make it look like a Lamborghini. People will buy it. I mean, I don't know. You want to distance yourself and say, hey, that's a Vette. Or, hey, that's a Ferrari. You want to distance your brand from others so that you can, you know, differentiate yourself. So, guys... I mean, thanks for enduring with my ramble. I mean, this is my first time doing this. I'm not really a good speaker, but I thought I'd just put it out there. I'm going to do a video on different aspects of the vet, as in, like, um, just the sound, everything in the future. But um, hopefully you guys uh, kind of agree, disagree, but uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.